What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Tactical Tuesday on Wednesday. In this episode, we're going to talk about my everyday carry, the carry of a Special Forces Green Beret, what I wear day in and day out everywhere I go. No matter what, rain, shine, snow, doesn't matter. It's on my body. So stick with us in this episode of the FNG Academy's Everyday Carry. All right, guys, first things first. As you know, everybody needs a pair of sunglasses. You cannot be cool. You cannot be tactical unless you have sunglasses. And they better be the bro brand. They better be what every special forces guy out there recommends and wears. You have two options, a pair of Oakleys or a pair of Gators. If you pick anything else but that, you're not tactical, you're not cool, and you don't carry shit. So why do we wear these Gators metal sunglass frames? It's so when you're getting in a fight and you don't even want to touch the hundreds of things that you carry in your pocket on a day-to-day -day basis, you could smash your face into someone else's face and the glasses won't break because they're made of metal you could take the ends of the sunglasses break them off sharpen them into a knife and stab somebody with them all right speaking of stabbing people if your self-defense situation only obviously you're gonna need a knife let's talk about the knives that i carry every single day first things first you want a fixed blade knife first purposes. So I have the Tour FNG Academy collab knife. You can't buy this one because it's sold out, but I got one. So this is what I have all the time in my pockets, no matter what. What if this knife breaks in half? Well, Tour will give you a new one, but for this purposes, we're going to move on to number two of my knife carry. If this one breaks, I'm gonna switch to this one. And it is a fold out razor blade knife. Black, tactical, cool. If this one has an issue, as we all know, there's mechanical malfunctioning things in a foldable knife. So, not reliable. So if that's the case, I'm gonna switch to my favorite knife. The everyday use, cook yourself dinner, stab someone if they try to attack you, chef's knife. This is my chef's knife, and this is how you do cool tactical stuff with it. This is a hand fight, if you haven't seen that before. You're welcome, that one's free here on Tactical Tuesdays on Wednesday. The next thing is, if you know anything about knives, or if you've seen one episode of Forge and Fire, you know that glinting happens on the edge of your knife. That's when something happens to the edge of your knife and it doesn't pass the cut test. One thing I always have on me at all times is a honer. So that way, I can hone my knife before getting into a fight. Yeah! All right, moving on from knives. I'm gonna go over my everyday pistol carries now, but first, Something I always have on me and I don't leave the house without my beard comb. What's up guys, this video is sponsored by The Beard Club. If you're ever wondering what kind of products I use, I use The Beard Club. I take that kit with me everywhere, especially when I'm traveling. Um, it comes with the beard oil, the beard balm, and the trimmer, the beard trimmer is what I use the most. That's what I always have in my kit. The beard oil to keep my skin nice and healthy underneath my beard. Um, my beard balm to keep my beard really nice and soft because there's nothing worse than having a rough scraggly beard. But also, you gotta catch those flyers on the road. So before I go in front of the camera, whether it's a podcast or filming content, I use the trimmer. Clean it up, make sure it's all nice and neat, um, and make sure my beard is looking good. So make sure you go check out the Beard Club, type in code word BUCK uh, to get a 20% discount on your first order. All right, guys. Cause you gotta look cool on Tactical Tuesdays that happen on Wednesday. All right, so once I brush my beard and I put this back in my pocket with all the other things that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm gonna show you my guns of choice. Obviously, you gotta have a pistol. Check, make sure it's clear. Boom, Glock 17, Gen 5, full Gucci. I got extended slide release. I got fucking optic on it. I got extended barrel threaded with a little muzzle brake thing on there that does something. I got a flashlight that does this. Everyday carry, boom. 
Mag, 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 mag. You never want to run out of mags. You always have to have shit tons of mags. But you might be thinking, Buck, what if your gun goes down? You broke all three of your knives and now your Glock 17 takes a shit on you. Don't worry, man. I got the answer for that too. I jump on this Glock 19. Boom, make sure that biash is clear. Wow, I got an optic on it, I got a light on it, some Crimson Trace dopeness. I pull this bad boy out and we start banging hammers, son. But that ain't it, because what if my Glock 19 goes down? Part of my everyday carry is this sweet 380. Make sure she's clear, bam. So three knives, two guns go down. I keep the 380, ugh, deep shoved into the crack of my ass. And if something really goes down, I squat, push, Pull out, boom, compact 380. Not even enough room for my pinky, this thing's so small. But it fits right in your anus without issue. Oh, did you see that? that was dope. I know what you're thinking right now on this Tactical Tuesday on Wednesday. Buck, how do you carry all this shit? Your sweatpants are tighter than my mom's vagina. Don't fucking worry about it. Just look at the table and trust what I got to tell you. Because I carry all this shit every day. You're not going to be tactical with just a bunch of pistols and knives in your pockets. You need something bigger. So, my everyday carry rifle, bam, right here. Check, make sure it's clear. Bam, 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 back. This guy is badass. You always want to everyday carry a carbine. Make sure that your carbine is multicolor, gray on black like Batman. And then you got to do cool shit with it. C clamp grip. Boom, boom, boom. Punch it out. Boom. Clearing. Twist it to the side. I don't even have an optic on the side, but you got to twist it. It shows everyone you know what you're doing. Do that a hundred times a day. Everyone will know you're super tactical. Boom. You got a red dot. You got your rifle, but you know what? Guess what? Your rifle can go down. So I always have a backup rifle on my person, on my everyday carry. This one has an optic on it. So that way I could see for miles. You don't even need to do anything. You just look at it and people are like, oh shit. And then I put a red dot on the side of it because when you see clamp and switch from your scope, to your red dot you look so fucking cool there it is fellas i hope you like this video of my everyday carry i'm exhausted this guy just shove it down in here like you would never know that i have anything on me at all it's so discreet it's insane